Okay, I'm just going to test something out uh, with bundled, uh, the bundled dependencies option in NPM just to see if using that would actually prevent this debacle that we just experienced with uh, pad left. So I'm going to npm init dash y, all of this stuff. And then um, I'll just do, actually we'll vim the package json, rename this to Kent's temporary thing, don't use this because I'm going to unpublish it in just a second. Um, so then we'll actually make this module that exports equals I am here and oh, not a git repository. Um, so we've got index and package JSON. I'm going to publish this. Do -do -do -do. Okay, awesome. So I can info this crazy long name thing and I get stuff back. So now I'm going to go back and go to temp2 and I'm going to npm init here and I'll then the package JSON here. And actually I don't really need to publish this or anything. So I'm going to install as we'll just say it's a dev dependency that new thing, awesome. And um, actually I am gonna publish them uh, this. So I'll do the package JSON um, two. And great, and then we'll vim index.js and I'll say module exports equals, actually our x equals require that thing and module.exports equals i plus x. I don't even remember what I said x was. Um, so now we're gonna publish this thing. Actually, hold on. Um, we'll vim the package JSON. So this is the thing that I actually wanted to test. It's bundled dependencies. Pro tip, you can actually also use bundle dependencies. And that works also. Um, oh, where am I? Okay. So I'm going to say that this thing is a bundled dependency. Okay. And then I will npm publish this. Whoops. Oh, dang it. Okay. So we'll vim the package or npm version patch and npm publish. Do Okay, sweet. So now I'm going to go back and make another thing, temp3, and npm init that. Okay, and then I'm going to npm, oh, actually, I need to go back, temp2, and vim the package JSON. So this actually needs to be an actual dependency. And so we'll do that, npm version patch and npm publish it needs to be an actual dependency so that when I install it in another project it comes down but it is a bundled dependency so I wanted to see what that does so we'll cd into temp3 now and uh, we'll vim our pack actually we'll npm install as a we'll just do a regular dependency and it's two great um, and so now if I uh, cat the package JSON here. We have that in our dependencies. And so now if I go to Actually, I don't need to actually go to that directory. I can just do it here npm unpublish That thing. Oh Yeah, I got to force it So I know what I'm doing. Don't do this regularly um, and now if I remove um, rmrf the um, node modules and now npm install remember this is something that uses something that was just unpublished it totally works oh my goodness very cool so if I cd into my node modules and I see what's in there I see the Kent's temporary thing to do temporary oh, 
And now if I look in there, it has node modules. And that has the module that I just unpublished. Fascinating. So um, I think lesson from this is actually, it's not an entirely bad idea to bundle dependencies, um, especially small ones. If you're doing like a big library or something like something for Angular or something, then that's something that you probably wouldn't want to bundle because Angular is huge or React is huge. Um, but um, for small things like 11 line files, yeah, probably use bundle dependencies. So let's just go back and review temp2 cat the package json here you have this dependency this has totally been blown away so if i actually move the um, node modules from here and try to install i'm going to get an error um, because that was unpublished but at least people using this module um, are not totally borked and so i can go and update this to use something that's correct and bundle that one instead so bundle dependencies pro tip Hopefully this is helpful to people.